Hi teachers, today I'll share a simple but very useful trick to present your maps in a much better way. Most presenters present their maps like this. For example, when it is a presentation about the various continents of the world, they present all the continents in one go. The problem is, this might overwhelm the participants. Second, it doesn't give you enough time to take your students through each part of the map. Instead of this, a much better way would be to present your maps section by section. For example, I start by saying, today we are going to learn about the various continents of the world. On a click, I show one continent and talk about it. And then on a click, I take them to the next continent. Can you see, I am able to focus their attention only on the part that I want. And then I talk about the second one. And then I show them the next continent, the next one, the next one, and the next one. And then we say there is a continent that most of us don't talk about and that is this continent called Antarctica. And then we summarize everything by showing how the various continents are placed in the world map. This is a much better way to present your map and it doesn't take much effort at all. Let me show you how it is done from scratch using morph animation in PowerPoint. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide. Here I have a picture. I want to zoom into section after section. First, let me delete all these labels. I can always add the labels later. Let me duplicate this slide first. I don't want to show all the colors and everything. You can always select this, go to picture format, go to color and make this into a black and white by going to recolor and choosing this option called black and white 75%. Instantly, we are able to convert our colored picture into a black and white image. Then we can write our title here. In this case, the title is Continents of the World. Then I'm going to take this picture. Then let me zoom out by clicking on this option called zoom out in the status bar. Now I'm going to use this thumbnail view to see if my positioning is proper or not. So let me select this. While holding the shift button down, I can increase the size or decrease it like this. Can you see it is perfect? Now I can see from the thumbnail view if all that I want is focused properly. If you want, you can even increase the thumbnail view by clicking and dragging like this. Now this does seem like we have covered just the right portion. Then let us duplicate this slide. And then I'm going to bring the next one, which is South America. So let me bring down here. Can you see this is the portion where I want to bring the viewer's attention. And then I can always add my label here. That is quite easy. I don't really want to waste your time showing you how to use an arrow and then write your text using the text label. So I'm going to skip that part. Once this is done, let me right click, duplicate this slide and then go to the next continent. I'm just bringing the focus. If at any point of time you feel that it is necessary for you to zoom in a little bit, you can do so by just clicking and dragging from the corners. So you're able to increase the size so you can give more space to the continent that you want to show. Once that is done, right click, duplicate slide and then bring this one. Now here, as you can see, everything is not fitting in properly. I can hold the shift button down, click and drag down. Can you see? I'm able to resize it maybe even a little bit further. And can you see? This is how I resize and people can see exactly what they want to see. Right click, duplicate slide and then I go here. Once again, as I said earlier, if you want to zoom out a little bit, you can do so. So this is Australia. So that is how you move from one continent to another. Of course, you can go to Europe and Antarctica and everything else. I just wanted to show you the process involved in moving from one part of the map to the other. And once it is done, you go to the second slide. And then from that point onwards, hold the shift button down and go to the last slide. Go to transitions and apply morph transition. Now let me go to the first slide and go to slideshow. I talk about the topic. Then on a click, I show them that this is one part of the map. And then I zoom to show the second part, then to the third part, then to the next one, and then to the next one. Can you see this zoom in and zoom out by varying the size really makes the map look that much more attractive. And then when you want to show the overall picture, you can always right click, duplicate this slide, and then hold the shift button down, click and drag from the corner. 
now the size needs to be adjusted to whatever that you want to show and it is back here so when let me go here and go to slideshow this is asia and then we show australia and then the zoomed out version is shown like this and we conclude the presentation of the map it's a simple idea but it definitely brings your maps to life by the way if you're a teacher and you're interested in some of these simple games that are created in powerpoint then you can get our powerpoint teachers bundle this bundle has 140 powerpoint templates for teachers 25 interactive tabs and more importantly 220 interactive quiz templates pack all of them are bundled into one product. If you want just 220 interactive quiz templates pack, you can go down and you can find this product here. I will leave a link to both these products in the description box below the video. Depending on what you want, you can get the relevant product. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.